My name's Robin, and I'm Ben and Silver. They're not playing this. Hi, I'm David, and I'm. Hi, I'm Natalia, and I am. Yeah. My name's Elias, and I play uh, Bob and Zach. My name's Taryn. I play Boston. I'm Hallie. And I'm Hi, I'm Michael and Carrie. And I'm Isabel Lauer. And I play my name is Emily Arnold. Okay, hey, my name is Lonnie Edwards. And my name is Piper. And I'm Gamma Fasti. And my name is Mustafa Basirasa. And my scene was in life. I'm Nathan. And I played as Kyle. I'm Jesse, and I play. I'm Andrew Brown. So we play the. My name is Rohala. Uh, I am Jeannie Rogo, and this was the master class 2010. It's all these people around me. So idiotic and unaware of the real world. Nobody sees reality as true as I do. What's the reality you see? It's nothing you'd understand. You're just protected by their blindness to really see the world. Come back when you're not so ignorant and immature. Oh, now look, I'm not ignorant and immature, but you're just gonna insult me I'm trying to- No, no one them. really cares. Not about me, or not about you, or anyone besides themselves. Everyone just lies and manipulates to get what they want. This is an evil world where happiness never existed. It's just a lie, a trick. My soul is darkness, and no one will accept me for who I am because everyone's incapable of knowing who I am and what I see because everyone's just busy focusing on themselves. Are you just going to leave? Awkward. You want to hear what I think? You can say what you think. It doesn't matter anyway. I hate to stomp on your opinion of life, but you're wrong. No. Let me speak. I'm not finished. I think you're very close-minded about the world, and you stay thinking what you think because you're scared. I am in no way scared of life. Yes, There's you nothing. are. You're scared about everything about life. You're afraid to go out in the world and be vulnerable to the bad things that happen to you while, ex while you exclude all the good things in your one-person sad club. Yes, people suffer for more or less legitimate reasons, but I know you. I know your family. I have to think your parents are awesome, Kyle. You don't even think you know me, Kevin. <laughs> I've known you since middle school, but I think I, and I think I know you pretty well, but I'm not done. Let me finish. When you drag other people into your problems... Who says I drag people into my problems? I have problems. All right, I just don't go... You're, you're not getting it, man. I don't think you ever will. Where's my bus? No one understands me. No one ever will. There's no such thing as happiness. Boo, 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 hoo. Wah, wah, cry, baby. Jeez. Excuse me. Is this a bus or something? Hello. Hi. What's your name? My name is Rohada. Ra, 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 Rahelo? Rahela? Rahela. Oh, okay. Are you, uh, are you new here? New? Yeah, new. Are you, are you new here? Yes, yes, I'm new. Oh, okay, cool. Oh, hey, Jeff. Hey, what's up, man? Did you guys win that game last night? You kidding me? Of course, I didn't stand a chance. Yeah, good boy. Hey, buddy, what's reading? Brody people are all around me. My air is being absorbed by the terrible creatures with deformed faces. <coughs> I'm hungry. You're hungry? Why? <laughs> no, hungry? no, no, I'm hungry. Hungry. Okay. So what should I do? You could come with me to eat something. I want to eat something. <laughs> no, no, I want to. I want to eat something. I'm hungry. Eat. Okay. So, would you like to come with me? But I need to go home. Why? Because I should tell my mother to go from the bank. So you want to leave me? No, no, I don't want to live with you. What should I live with you? No. I don't know you. Not live with me. I mean. I don't know your name. <laughs> you want to go and leave me? Alone. <coughs> Alone? From the bank? No. <laughs> Kevin. Who? Kevin, Kevin. My name is Kevin. 
I don't shake hands, Kevin. Oh, why? <laughs> because of religious issues. Oh, okay. Every time they breathe, my <coughs> Every time they breathe, a thousand pounds of poison leaves their lungs. Every time someone here exhales, <coughs> the air is infested with smoke and disease. I'm hungry too. So you want to come with me? To eat? Mm, I want to come with you, but I don't have money. That's okay. Money doesn't taste very good. What? Oh, it's a bad idea. <laughs> um, I'll, I'll pay for you. Eat. What? I will pay your money for you. But here is my book. I should go. Oh, okay. Sorry, my English isn't good. It's okay. It's not a big deal. What? Nothing. Have a good day. <laughs> wow! My bus is late today. Have a good day. What a cliche. Evil masterminds cuddle with cans and wear cowboy boots. <laughs> Definitely chill in the air today. <laughs> nippy, nippy, nippy. I want very much to send them on the wrong bus. Yo no espanolo. Ah, que tú digas español. Yo te puedo ayudar. ¿Necesitas ayuda? No, I don't. I don't speak Spanish, and I don't want any help. Yes, sir, Bobslin. Old man, winter's coming. Be very mean of me, evil in fact. But then I would have quiet. Feels like it's lasted for an hour. <laughs> just sitting with this person. Feels like the end of time has happened. Have, been waiting, have I been waiting here for a billion years? My children are terrible places. Are your children terrible places? What about you? Are your children terrible places? This bus stop is my least favorite place on earth. muscular arms and take me away. If only he noticed my longing for him. I just wish for this feeling to go away. Have you ever felt like you were in love? But the feeling was never returned. You wish for the spiraling depression to end. And you should try a new life. Which is love cake. Who needs a nice slice of man when you can have a slice of love cake? Only ten ninety nine a cake. Side effects may include depression. Indigestion, heartbreak, malaria, and occasionally, very rarely, complete and utter loneliness. Please try a new product today. <laughs> it's pretty boring, you know, being here all day. Old dog geezer hardly even plays with me. It's not my fault. I love water. So good. So inviting. I had to drink it. I had to drink it all. It's not my fault he's old and creaky. He just lays there all day. Sleeping. Snoring. Boring. So I drank the water. All of it. He shouldn't leave me here all day with water. He should have been here to let me out. It's his fault, not mine. I had to go. I mean, I had to go. Besides, he'll never know. I did it next to Geezer. Everybody knows the aged can't hold their water. <laughs> he, he, he's got it coming anyway. Geezer did it. He drank all the water and then peed on the lamp. I saw him do it. That's how I'll play it. He might have. 
He did do it. It's not my fault. I'm a good dog. this moment, given this economy. Hard times all around. Please don't misunderstand. We are sensitive to the working men and women of this establishment, but as business owners, we need to draw the line sometimes. In the proverbial sense, a Twinkie. Might as well ask for the world. Oh, all right, sir, I understand. <laughs> but what if I were to give you my car? Well, we may be able to work out a deal after all. Your car, well, well, well. The thing of it is, Bill. Bill, Twinkies are very rare these days, so what else do you have? Have a, have a house. A house! A house, he says. A house can be very useful. Just like a car can be very useful. Yes, indeed. Cars and houses, very useful in DDO. Um, however, I'm not sure if that's going to be enough. Anything else, Bill? Well, you have a family. My, 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 a family. Well, well, well. What kind of family exactly? Well, uh, you have a wife, sir, and a, and a daughter. A wife and a daughter. That is quite the family. Quite the family in DDO, Bill. <laughs> I also have a dog, but he's in common, and I doubt that he's of any interest to in you. No, Bill, of course. We can keep the dog. The wife, the car. The daughter in the house. It seems like a fair deal, an adequate bargain, considering the Twinkie you are in need of. Well, the old blood sugar is plummeting, so as soon as you can, hand us over the keys to your car and the deed to your house. <laughs> and feel free to use the phone to call the family out. It would be much appreciated, I'm sure. Thank you, Mr. Bill. Thank you, Bill. <laughs> Hi, honey. Um... <laughs> Tell Skeeter I moved. Sorry, kid. I don't need any help. No, uh, sorry I bothered you. Is that it? Sorry I bothered you? <laughs> You're gonna give up that easy? Crime in the How do you ever expect to get a job that way? Look, try again. Go outside, knock on the door, but this time don't give up so easy. Who is it? Um, it's me again. Who the heck are you? Get out of here! Uh, okay. okay, no, I'm just kidding. Come back in here. Look, do you want a job or not? Uh, yeah. Well, fine. What can you do? I'm good at following directions. I'll bet you are. Okay. Here. See this trigger? Put, put, hold that in your hand. See the trigger there? Put that end in your mouth and pull the trigger. Uh, no. You know, I thought you said you were good at following directions. But this is poison. Good. You've passed the test. Welcome to Pesticidal Maniacs. <laughs> Pest control professionals. My name is Neil Diamond. Yeah. The Neil Diamond? Exactly like the Neil Diamond. Only without the money. Listen, kid. You've got me just in time. I've got a job to do in the New North End, and 
and I need you to load the hopper. Here, put this on. So what are we going to do? We're going to kill Bugs, kid. And sing. <laughs> She's got the looks that kill! She's got the looks. Ow! She's got the looks that kill. No, no, no. She's got the looks that kill. Silhouette of a man's got a moose, got a moose, can you do the fandango? Thunderbolts and lightning, very, very bright, don't mean Galileo. 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 Galileo Figaro Magnifico. That's your line. I'm just a poor boy. He's just a poor boy from a poor family. Spare him this life from this monstrosity. Yes! We're going to get along just fine. Good job. Come on, kid, lighten up, huh? I mean, what makes you happy? Well, what do you want in life? Uh, I need money. We all need money, kid. But what is it that you want? I want... I want to, like, get the hell out of here. There's a door. Nobody's making you stay. No, not here. Like, here. Like, my life, my family. Here. Hmm. Well, where would you go? You know, anywhere else but here. Look, kid, I've been all over the world. Lots of places suck worse than here. But that's just the point. I haven't been anywhere else. How am I supposed to learn anything if I stay stuck in this, like, tiny loser town all my life? It's like, if I don't get out of here, I'm gonna explode or something. Immanuel Kant. No. Immanuel Kant was a real pissant who was very rarely stable. <laughs> Monty Python? <laughs> no? <laughs> Never mind. Immanuel Kant was a philosopher who postulated that it's the representation which makes the object, rather than the object which makes the representation. So what's this have to do with me? It's your mind that makes your reality. See, the funny thing about Kant was, they say that he never left the town he grew up in. Lived his entire life in like a 20 mile radius of where he was born. And yet he changed the world. I don't want to change the world. I just want to like make some money and get out of here. Like, Somewhere else, anywhere else but here. Well, how would you get there? I don't know, by boat. Oh, please, don't you rock my boat. Don't rock my boat. Bob Marley? <laughs> how about this? And I judge by that Elysian freight that all they ask is rougher weather, and Dory and Master will sail by fate to seek the Happy Isles together. Robert Frost? I don't know that man. <laughs> no, Robert Frost was a poet. Oh, man, why do you have all these like rockers, philosophers, and poets in here? Maybe those fumes have been messing with your mind. It's actually the philosophers that have been doing the messing. That's just kind of the kind of messing that your mind needs. Uh, you're just like my dad. Everything has to be a teaching moment. I just want to like go to work, <laughs> make some money, and not have to think about anything, you know? If you want to not think about anything, you can't work for me. Go get a job at McLoser's if you want to not think about anything. Uh, what about you? Do you even work? Or do you just sit around all day singing karaoke and getting high on fumes? Like, are you, or are you just a lonely old weirdo in a gas mask right here in Mission Beach? Where are you going when you got stuck here? Who says I'm stuck? You're saying that this was your ambition when you got set out at my age? Well... My, you know, life kind of has a way of getting in the way of dreams, I guess. Well, now you know where I'm coming from. <laughs> Come on, kid, we got work to do. Let's go. No, you look. You started this with your crazy singing and telling me I have to stand up for myself. You have to tell me what happened to you so I don't end up like you. I'm a loser, baby, so why don't you kill me? My dreams changed. What? Dreams change, kid. Life is hard. But it is sweet. Life is hard. Death is too long. Life is hard. Wake up. Life is too short. I'd like to prove this point for him. To learn everything, maybe. Life is very short. 
Why? Because my life goes by very quickly. Besides, think of this summer. Could you imagine how fast it flew by? I still think it's the first days of summer vacation. Anyhow, but it is sweet. It is wide. It is expansive. You could make it longer by being mindful. Fantastic. Now I should waste all of my short life to practice mindfulness. Practice mindfulness? Your life will be double. I will not do that ever in my life. Your life will always be short for you. I have been telling you all this time that life is short. And now you finally agree. Oh, no, I didn't. I said that if you don't practice mindfulness, life will be short for you. I am always saying that life is sweet, long, enjoyable, and wide. You crazy boy. Why don't you understand that life is short? Who did you call crazy me? Yes, you. You crazy fool boy. Why don't you understand that life can be what you make of it? You crazy boy. Life is not short. It is long, slow-moving, and ponderous. Like a bloated whale on its last approach to shore. Like a bus stalled in traffic. Some things happened up ahead. Lights flash, sirens blare. We wait and wait to find the move to get where we're going. Stop! Guys, that's not funny. We just missed the bus on account of you two. Sorry, Sorry. it didn't make the cause yet. Now we have to walk. Yeah, we have to walk. How am I supposed to walk with this bad foot? Life's too short for this, man. <laughs> Look at this guy. What a belly anchor. Wham, wham, wham. Mom will grape snivel. Pet me! The world's against me. Nobody loves me. At least you've got a reposable thumb. Use it. Pet me. <laughs> Dude, your girlfriend's looking at me. She's digging on a man. Ha ha. I'm adorable and you're not. She's going to dump you. You're not good enough. Got no charm, but I've got it in spades. Pet me. Gold necklace. I represent your inner darkness and understanding of the world. Oh, uh, that's okay. I don't. I don't want it. 
you, you don't have to wear it all the time. Just, it, just, just a symbol. Get away from me. You're insane. Oh, I'm insane? For the way I see things? You're going to call me crazy? For seeing life in its truest form? You need to stop this. We're in public, for God's sake. Then I'm breaking up with you then. You're joking. <laughs> you wish. You really hurt my feelings. And you never help me when I'm down. I'm so tired of you making fun of me for who I am as a person. And if you're, if you're just going to stay in happy La Land, then I want to be with you. You need help. You know that? I thought I'd be the one to break up with you and your dumb emo crap. And you're dumping me. Yeah, it was just what life was supposed to be. And you have been a really cool goth. By the way, those jeans make you look really fat. You're like a giant blue jean whale. <laughs> Nobody sees the problems. Where can I say? Can you excuse me a minute? Sure. Hello? Oh, hey. How are you? Oh, well, not too great. You know, ever since I got back from the war, gotten a little bit behind on my bills, and, you know, government hasn't really been helping too much lately. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, well, they're kind of taking my house. Yeah. Kind of your place to stay. Really? You do that for me? Oh, thanks, man. Thank you so much. All right, I'll talk to you soon. All right, bye. Sorry about that, kid. So, uh, what were you saying about your problems? I don't have any problems. I'll see you around. talking to him once. He said it was right around these parts during the springtime and the leaves were just starting to bud. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so the <coughs> air became cooler right before it happened too. Maybe your dad was nuts. He was not. Oh, relax, dude. He said that right after he got into the accident. I wonder if he did have some sort of weird mental thing. Yo, he was a total whack. All the way out of it, kid. What the heck, did you go to say something? No. Boy, kid, you are seriously botching this. Do something impressive, like those card tricks you learned last year, except more sexy. Define sexy. Uh, excuse me, what did you just say? You heard me. If you don't know what sexy is, don't try and speak her out. Beat her on the bush. Speak. Oh, well, if you insist, um, there are numerous interpretations, and of course it's very individual, but in general, sexy oh, is one no, of uh, No, never mind, uh, I'm cool. I, but I thought you wanted me to explain the word sexy to you. That's right. Sexy. She's catching on. Oh, no. <laughs> Holy crap, what is up with you today? Come on, the cards are in your pocket like you planned this morning. Wait, don't tell me you forgot the deck of sexy playing cards. Damn. You no, know, the cards, the sexy ones, they're right here. Uh, Want to see a trick? What? No, I just wanted to show you a card trick, just an innocent card trick. I think I do, anyhow. Nice job. You're a real Casanova. Shut up, will you? Look, you're being rude and insolent, and if you're just gonna act crazy, then I'm leaving. Way to go, lover boy. I don't go. That's right, kid. Sorry, love cake. We get you a one-way ticket to nowhere, Phil. No, really. Come on, draw her back in. Remember the cards. Wait, I like your pigtails. Uh, yeah, they're cute. Uh, they're cute. Uh, do you want to go out to uh, lunch with me? So 
go. <laughs> Okay. God. Excuse me. Do you talk to God? Uh, no. I was just talking to a girl. What's your? It doesn't really matter. My name's Taryn. What's yours? Rahela. Rahela. I like your scarf. My scarf? You like my scarf? Yeah, I do. Thank you. You're welcome. in your home? Call pesticidal maniacs. Pesticidal maniacs will make bugs beat it. Beat it, beat it, beat it. Ow! <laughs> Just beat it. Woo! Do you have ants in your pants? Or midges in your mudroom? Pesticidal maniacs will get the job done. Pesticidal maniacs. Leaders in household pest control. <laughs> <laughs> don't lay eggs. I spent all my money on 400 male guinea hens. 400 male birds do not lay eggs. I guess I messed up. Big time. You don't guess. You know you messed up. With 100% certainty. You never think of the outcome of stuff. <coughs> I made a mistake. How do you make a mistake like that? It's basic stuff you learn in grade school. <coughs> well, I guess you didn't learn it, which is why we need this school. I know, but it's not that easy. I'd like to see you figure out the difference between a male and a female guinea hen. Sure, it comes down to basic anatomy. I know, but I'm not a genealogist. It's hard to tell. There's a lot of feathers down there. Genealogy? <laughs> Whatever, herbivore. I'm not a herbivore. Herbivore? Paleontologist, then. I'm not a paleontologist. You're a moronologist. That's what you are. Look, let's keep them for a week or two more. Roosters do not lay eggs. One week or ten won't make a scrambled eggs worth the difference. No, okay. Will, keep half of them, get some females, and we'll have an open house and let people see what we're doing. Open house? You're gonna waste more of my money and have some hoedown where no one shows up except for exotic bird lovers? No, no. Wait, but the thing is, you don't know how I got here. I spent days and weeks and months playing on Farmville! What the hell is Farmville? It's a computer game on the internet. The internet is not real life. It's just a bunch of lies. Actually, there's a lot of important stuff on the net. That's where I got the idea for guinea hens. Maybe you should have researched bird anatomy first. I wouldn't underestimate the value of 400 single sex guinea hens. Facebook and farming do not go together. Actually, I thought it was insightful. Using the internet and getting African birds is about being, being part of the global economy and a world citizen. Globe? World? <laughs> I ain't no jet setter. Why can't you just be tough and hardworking like those kids in the hills? Look, we can't be hicks and rednecks forever, man. You gotta think outside the hen house. <laughs> Hey, buddy. Huh? Over here. Hey, 
help or something? <laughs> you have any cat hair? Or uranium? <laughs> Seven eighty-four. No, calm down. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that that that's too bad. They sell everything there, and it's cheap. Where's the nearest Walmart? So you're gonna take the bus, and you're gonna go down the block on your left. Can't miss it. Thanks, dude. My fabulous home! Ah, uh, nice to see you again. I brought some friends, so if you don't mind, I thought you should meet some people from around the workplace. Bethany, Hillary, and Miles. I'm sure we can entertain ourselves as we wait. Yes, that's right. Let's play a game. Oh, I love games. Watch me play. How about rock, paper, scissors? That's fun. Brilliant idea. Let's play. I'll be leader. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Ah, scissors will always win with paper. My turn to say it. My turn. As you wish. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Ouch. My rock smashes to smithereens your scissors. <laughs> rock, paper, scissors, shoot! I wrap you up with my paper, you rock you. Oh, well. Your luck has run out, my friend. We'll see about that. <laughs> yeah, your scissors aren't no match for my rock. But you... You started with paper, I We saw. have a winner! I'm untouchable, I'm awesome! Well, I do love a good game! It just brings out the little kid in me! <laughs> oh, I almost forgot. Silly me. Would anyone like some tea? I'd have some. I'll have a cup, please. Sure. Alrighty, Miles. You want a nice hot cup of tea? Sure. Well, what kind y'all want? Anything will do. 
Oh, silly, that's not how you enjoy tea. Come and pick. It's quite impressive. Oh, you don't need to. Oh, come on. It's just tea. Don't you want to have a good time? Come on. All of you, get up, you lazy bones. Get around, boys and girls. Here, into the vast tea bag collection. See the power. Oh, the power. I have the biggest tea bag collection. I am the best. You all bow down to me, the Alpha Team Mail! <laughs> now, what tea shall you choose? I have tea from every country, every state, and every herb. <laughs> <laughs> so sorry. Just got a uh, text that my cat was romping in my neighbor's yard. Bethany and, he, Bethany and I should really get going. Thank you, guys. Sorry, I have to be back at work right now. I'm going to be late. Thank you for all the funny things. Well, I don't really know you. And this situation here, it's a bit awkward. So I'm going to go, and you take it easy. <laughs> Why does everyone leave? Where is that special place for everyone? Where you can be who you are? Where is my community that accepts me as the Alpha T male? <laughs> if everyone has a special place, where is mine? <laughs> You see, I started out way different than you. I had loads of ambition. Man, I started a band we played. Every night we played. We got good, too. We played some gigs, made some money, got some better gigs, traveled around. Man, we had everything. We had big hair, and the spandex, and the boots with the high heels, and the makeup. So it was the 80s. <laughs> so, uh, what happened? Well, let's see. I wrecked my hearing. Uh, I got addicted to drugs. I got a uh, woman pregnant who I didn't know who's still trying to squeeze a rock star paycheck out of me. And then my band kicked me out and went on to superstardom. <laughs> How's that for being a loser? Uh, what was your uh, band's name? Acid Tongue. Oh, uh, I've never heard of them. I thought you said they went on to superstardom. Yeah, well, the 80s ended a long time ago. Besides, you know, I love what I do. Killing bugs. Oh, man. I got my own job. I'm my own boss. Nobody tells me what to do. I sing all day and I get paid, paid for it. What could be better than that? So, why do you let your ambition go? Why didn't you like form a new band and start again? Well, because it's the representation that makes the object. Your mind is what makes reality. You see, I had this big dream to be on a big stage with the lights and the chicks and everybody thinking I was it. And uh, I tasted it, and it was really sweet. But it was also really empty. And um, I never thought about the music. I never thought about getting to know the people I was with or, you know, really getting good at my instrument. My dreams were too small. I mean, really, I was just a conceited asshole who needed to check my head. Uh, and once I did, I found there was some really cool stuff in there, you know? So I just started reading, traveling around, seeing the world. Life is big, man. I never knew. Mm. You know, I want to sail around the world. Oh, ho, ho. Now there's no Twinkie-sized dream, so why don't you just do it? Why don't you just get on a boat and go? <laughs> Come on, kid. Let's go get you that boat. Don't forget the tool. What would you think if I sang out of tune? Would you stand up and walk out on me? I think I would. <laughs> Lend me your ears and I'll sing you a song and I'll try not to sing out of key. Oh, come on. The Beatles? Everybody knows the Beatles. Yeah. <coughs> bugs. Yeah. Like the bugs. Oh, I get by with a little help from my friends. Don't forget the tools. I don't really have any friends. Come on, kid. Let's go. I never
grocery people comes towards me with a cart full of tea. Looks like some sort of homeless man. for Twinkies, or the need to be constantly changing your socks? No. <laughs> oh, I was going to see a doctor, but I wasn't sure what could be causing these problems. Maybe it's the children's Tylenol, or that new tea I got. Children's Tylenol? It's cheaper. The cost of tea is really rising these days. Bad economy, you know. I might have a tea to do the job. Tea? Really? These are secrets no Jedi Master can teach you. The art of tea is both dangerous and complex. What's your name? In the world of tea, I am known as the Alpha Tea Man. Yeah. Long ago. So, do you have some tea or not? Sure, sure, let me finish my monologue. <laughs> Long ago, I was just another face. But then I learned a dangerous secret. The secret of tea. It could help you fall asleep at night, prevent constipation. It could even stop coughs. Um, could you do that, please? Let me finish! So, I killed my master! Look, do you have some tea or not? This cough is really killing me and my throat is really sore. You're being so negative and hurtful. I try so hard to be accepted for who I am. No one accepts me for who I am, the Alpha Team Man. Um, sorry. Not really sure how I'm being ruined. I just have tons of homework, and my mom's going to kill me if I don't get back before 10. Thanks, this really helps. It's really good. So, am I like the alpha team male or what? Sure. Wait, what's your name? Andrew. So, why do you have so much tea? I'm moving. No one seems to accept me here, being an alpha team male and all. When's the next bus? Don't know. Probably at the wrong bus stop. That happens to me all the time. Don't worry, you're just as sane as I am. That's good to know. I hope you get to, it was nice to meet you. I hope you get to where you're going. Well, I think I'll wait here. The next bus might be a while anyway, so it'd be lame to have to wait alone. Thanks. So, you wanna play rock, paper, scissors? I am always up for rock, paper, scissors. You're on.
about what these guys have uh, gone through to get to where they are today. Um, we started this, uh, this play as just an idea at the beginning of the year. Um, let's write a play and see what it's about and, and put it on just before the, uh, the winter break. And uh, this is what they came up with. So this is an all original um, creation that they've done and uh, with no small amount of work on the part of Jeannie Rogo. Taskmaster and uh, also a loving teacher, and we have um, we couldn't have done it without her. So, great amount of respect to her, um, and also to the students. This is a really impressive feat that they've accomplished, and um, I just think that uh, it should be acknowledged the amount of work they did, they put in, and the originality and creativity is just really it's awe inspiring for me, and it's created a great tight community here, and, and we, I couldn't be more pleased and more proud of them. So, give them another hand. and Jenny and Einika and Marsha and Diane with all of their help, and Mary Lauer and the whole Gaylor community. It's so, so wonderful. So thank you all for being a part of it.